So today, we're going to take a look at Mini Message. Now, in case you clicked on this video and you have no clue what Mini Message is, allow me to explain. Mini Message is a chat formatting format for Minecraft, most notably used in anything related to the paper API. In other words, if you install a modern Minecraft plugin, there is a big chance it will support the Mini Message format. The thing is, though, many don't actually know how to use it, which is a shame because the format is extremely powerful and allows you to do a lot of cool stuff. So today, I'm going to show you how to actually use it. Now, before you can use the mini message format, you first need to install a Minecraft plugin that actually supports the format. Now, a great example of this is Fancy Holograms, a plugin we just recently covered here on the channel. Like you can see here in features, it supports the mini message format. In my case, though, I want to show you how to use the mini message format in the regular Minecraft chat, which is why I've installed a chat plugin called Carbon, which, like you can see, supports the mini message format. Now again, these are just two examples. There are many plugins out there that support mini message. And it doesn't matter which one you use, the format itself will stay the same. So as soon as you know how to use it, you will be able to use it with whatever plugin supports it. All right, so let's go over the basics first. The mini message format uses tags. Everything that you want to do in mini message, you need to do with tags. Now, what does a tag look like? A tag looks like this. Two of these five little arrows which you should be able to find somewhere on your keyboard. Now of course the thing that matters is what you write in between these tags. Now the most basic thing you can do is type the name of a color and then your chat will be that color. So when I type blue you can see there's a blue subscribe text and when we change the name to red it will be red. Now these simple color tags just support the default Minecraft colors. Now what colors are those you might be asking? Well basically all of these. Every single color that will can be a Minecraft, or every single color that stained glass can be a Minecraft, those colors you can use. Of course, that is very, very limiting. Lucky for us, Mini Message also supports hex codes. So when instead of red, we type a hashtag, and after that, any hex code, like for example, FF, and then zero four times, we will now get the subscribe text in this color, which is also red, but you can clearly see it is a different type of red, and any color code is supported here. Now, if you are looking for a cool website to find color codes, I would highly recommend colorbook.io. I will leave a link to this website in the description of the video. But over here, you can simply find cool colors. So for example, I kind of like this one. So let's click on it. It will tell you the hex code. It will give you some more details and information. And over here, you can scroll down and you will just find a bunch of information about this color. So here you will get different tints and shades. So here we got the color that we chose, but here we have a 5% lighter variant. Here we have a 5% darker variant. Scrolling further down, we will get a color scheme. So this is the complementary color of the color we chose, stuff like that. It is really cool. And if we find a color here, we can simply copy this color code, paste it in Minecraft like this, and bam! Now that is going to be the color of our text. Now maybe good to say is that you can use all these different types of color text together in one sentence. So here I typed subscribe with a color code. I can now make another tag that for example says blue, where I will then type the text to Kasai Sura. And now you can see that even this works perfectly fine. In other words, you can mix and match them all you want. Okay, next we're gonna have a look at gradients. So let's say we want the subscribe text to have a nice and cool gradient. Well, we can totally do that. To create a gradient, you wanna type, spoiler alert, gradient. But the tag is not done yet because we still need to specify the colors of the gradient. So let's say we want to create a blue red gradient. We're gonna type immediately after gradient but before the end arrow of the tag a colon and then the word blue after that another colon and the word red now you can also create a gradient with three colors if that is something that you want and of course just like before you can use hex codes so if i would replace the word red with hashtag ff0000 then now it's going to be a different red color this one to be precise and still it will totally work now the gradient is not done yet we have to to create an additional tag at the end of our message to end the gradient. So the way you want to do that is you want to type two of these arrows again. In between you want to type gradient. And now comes the only difference. All the way at the start of the tag, right after the first arrow, you want to type a forward slash. Now this basically indicates that this will be the end of the gradient. So anything I type after this tag, so for example,
example to Kasai Sora will not have the gradient. So let's test it out. Let's press enter. Looks like I forgot the space, but you can see it works like intended. Subscribe has a gradient that goes from blue to red and then to Kasasura is all in white. Now, of course, the gradient will look better if it covers more text. Here, the colors kind of shift quickly, but when we make it cover the entire sentence, you can see it looks a lot better and it is very, very clean. Another cool color thing we can do is add a rainbow effect. So when we make the first tag rainbow, just like that. And then after the text, we make another tag that says rainbow again. But of course, just like with the gradient, a forward slash at the start of the tag, indicating that this is where the rainbow effect should end. Then now our subscribe text will have a beautiful rainbow color. I gotta say, it looks pretty clean. Now there are actually multiple variants of this, which is kind of cool. So when in the first rainbow tag, you type colon exclamation mark, then now you can see that the effect will be different. It is reversed. If we, instead of an exclamation mark, at a two, the effect will be different once more. And when we have a column, after that, an exclamation mark, and after that, a two, then it will look like this. So there is some variation, which is kind of nice. We've now taken a look at most of the things we can do in terms of colors. Next, let's take a look at ways to stylize your text to make it look a little bit nicer and make certain things in your text stand out. Something we can, for example, do is add a tag that says bold. And when we do this, you will get bold text. Of course, you can also add italic text, which will look like this. You can add underlined text, just like this. Then there is strike through text, which is a very long word, but we can also just type ST and that will work as well. In the same way that only typing B instead of the full word bold will also make your text bold and how only typing an R will make your text italic. Another little bit more advanced thing that you can do is add a hover text. So how does that work? Well, of course, like always, we're going to start with a tag. And this tag is going to say hover. Now, after that, you want to type a colon. And then we want to type show underscore text. After that, you want to type a colon once again. And next, you want to type an apostrophe. And in between, you want to type the text you want it to reveal as soon as we hover. So let's make the text in blue to Kasai Sora. Now, after that, the hover tag is done. And we can now type the text that we need to hover to reveal this text. So let's do in red subscribe and we're gonna press enter you will see there's a red subscribe text and when we hover it we will see in blue to casasora that is such an extremely cool feature and you can go even more next level with text interaction so aside from a hover text you can also create a text that you need to click on and when you click on it something will happen. This is what mini message calls a click effect. And the way we add one is we're going to create a tag again. This tag will be a click tag. Then we're going to type colon. And after that, the thing it should do, the action it should perform. Now over here, you can see the actions that we can choose from. Change page, copy to clipboard, open file, open URL, run command and suggest command. All right, run command sounds pretty fun. So let's type run underscore command. After that, we're going to type another colon and then the value. In other words, what command it should execute. So for example, slash game mode survival. Then after that, you want to go behind the click tag. Everything we've typed so far is the click tag. And now you want to type the piece of text that people should click on. So we can, for example, make that click here. And now we're not done yet because we still need to set an endpoint for the click tag. So what we want to do is we want to create another tag that once again says click, but just like with the gradient and the rainbow, there should be a little forward slash all the way at the start of the tag, just like that. Now we can continue adding some text now. So we can, for example, make it say for game mode survival. After that, we're going to press enter. And there we go. I forgot a space again. <laughs> I'm bad with my spaces, but now at least you can see how it works. So when I click on the text game mode survival, absolutely nothing will happen. When I click on the text for, nothing will happen either. But when I click on the text click here, I'll be set to game mode survival. Now, of course, you can use any command for this. It is great. It is really, really cool. Now, another pretty cool tag you can add is the key tag. Now, what does the key tag do? I think it is easiest to show you. So when I start creating a tag again, and I make it say key, after that, I type a colon, the word key again, then a dot. And after that, the word jump, it will now, when I press enter, show me my jump key, which for me is space. But that is the cool thing. It will show the key that is the jump key for you. So for me, it might show space. But if you're a person that likes to jump with the B key for 
some reason, then it will show B for you. In other words, it will take your key binds into consideration, which is awesome. Now, another very cool thing you can do is you can add translatable pieces of text. Allow me to explain. So when we make a new tag, in the side of here, we put the word lang, which stands for language. Then now we can add a colon. And after that, we can specify, for example, a certain block. So let's go for block dot minecraft dot gold underscore block in other words a gold block when i now press enter you will see that the thing that it says now is block of gold but here's the cool thing if i would set my language to dutch which is my native language then you will see now the word will say Goudblok, which is Dutch for a block of gold. That is super, super handy and really great if you want to make your Minecraft server more accessible for people all across the world. Now, something else pretty cool that you can do is inserting. Inserting basically means that you click on a piece of text and it will then insert itself into your text bar. So let's type a tag again and make it say insert. Then we want to type a colon and, for example, subscribe to Kasai Sora. Then we want to type a piece of text to click on to insert this text. So for example, click here. And then we want to type another tag to end the insert. So we're going to type insert again, but of course at the start, a forward slash. It will say click here. And when we now hold shift, that's very important, hold shift and click on this text, it will insert subscribe to Kassasura in my text bar. So we can easily send it. Now that's cool. <laughs> that is really, really cool. You can start a new line mid message. So when I type subscribe, after that a tag that says new line, and after that to Kasai Sora, then now the two Kasai Sora tags will be put on a second line. So subscribe is over here, and then to Kasai Sora down there. And that is going to be it for today. Do make sure to subscribe to my channel, join my Discord. Thank you so much, channel members. And then I will see you in the next one. Bye bye, see you later. Bye bye.